Hi, uh, I'm Tim. I work at Shear Honda. Um, every time you come in for an oil change or any service really, um, we do what we call a 21-point multi-inspection, um, basically checking various fluids, brake life, tires, tire pressure, you know, important safety items on your vehicle. Um, we're going to do one now. Uh, when we check the brakes, we have our little brake depth gauge here um, that we use and we stick and check the brake pads. These ones are very good at eight millimeters. And then our rear. Our rear is still pretty good at six. Let me check our tires. Seven. and six. Um, basically, this is a tread depth gauge, um, and the state of Vermont for state inspection is two 30 seconds um, tread depth that they have to be above that. So if they're at three or less, they don't pass Vermont state inspection. Um, these tires are good. Um, but anything 06 and newer has what um, Honda calls a maintenance minder system. Um, Honda's done extensive testing as far as oil changes and transmission fluid change and things like that um, to see, basically saying people are changing their oil too soon. Everybody with the 3,000 miles, it's too soon. Um, that, I mean, a lot of the cars are going 6,000, 7,000 miles before they're asking for an oil change. Um, and that's just, uh, you know, a research thing that they've kind of figured out that it's more beneficial and cheaper rather than changing, you know, you're changing oil one and a half times more than you really need to. You check all the suspension. Um, also during the inspection, um, you check the exhaust, make sure nothing looks like it's leaking or torn. Um, make sure everything, all the hangers are where they're supposed to be which this one is good. Um, looking for any sort of fluid leaks, anything leaking. Um, you're, if you have a small leak on a transmission axle seal or an oil seal or anything like that, um, we're looking at your CV boots, make sure they're not cracked. Um, looking at your fuel and brake lines, make sure they're not very rusty and you might blow a brake line somewhere, because that would be bad. Um, after. We check all the stuff underneath the car and we let it back down. Uh, we start looking things back over underneath the hood. Um, checking out your belts, which some cars have one, some cars have two, some have three. Um, this one has one and just kind of looking for cracking, blazing, um, things like that that look out of the ordinary. Um, and this one looks very good. Um, also looking at power steering fluid, everything underneath the car is a little bit low. Top that back off. Um, inspecting all the hoses, the power steering hose, um, and all your coolant hoses and things like that. Check the coolant, make sure that's nice and full in the radiator. Check all the hoses, make sure they don't have any bulges in them or look like anything's leaking. Um, an oil cap that fell. Um, checking your brake fluid, which is over there, which is good. Um, so everything looks pretty good underneath here. Um, we also test the battery. Honda sends us this cool electronic battery tester. We get to plug her in and Make sure the battery is up to snuff. Um, this battery is rated at 550 cold cranking amps. This 
battery. It says GR8 Diagnostic Needed, um, which is another battery testing tool that we have um, that basically can take a battery that is a little bit low on charge and um, charges it slowly and brings it back up to where it should be. And we also check the wiper blades, make sure they're not torn or feel really gritty. That way they wipe the windshield nice and clean. These feel pretty good. Now we also check all the lights, make sure all the lights are working. I hope people don't get pulled over and get expensive tickets. That was a 21 point inspection that you get every time you get an oil change. Um, and you know, that's pretty important stuff. Um, it's almost as extensive as Vermont State Inspection every time. There's a few more things you have to do for Vermont State Inspection. But uh, it's like getting your car pretty much inspected as far as your steering suspension and things like that every time you get an oil change. Um, so yeah, stop down, get an oil change, um, and we'll see you when you show up. Have a great day.